Parker Math and More. I'm Parker. Today, we are going to cover a mental math strategy called Make a 10. This strategy helps you do addition and subtraction in your head really quickly and reliably. Let's first demonstrate with addition. In this equation, you start with the larger addend, which is 8. You then break the smaller addend into two new addends, so that one of those new addends makes a multiple of 10 when added to the 8. So, I broke the 3 into 2 plus 1. 8 plus 3 thus becomes 8 plus 2 plus 1. Then, I combine the 8 and 2, which equals 10. Then, I add the leftover 1 to arrive at a total sum of 11. When performing a math operation, you should consider breaking up one of the numbers into smaller add-ins. This can let you perform several easy calculations instead of one big complicated calculation. Here is another example with bigger numbers. In this case, the next multiple of 10 after 20 is 30. So I want the left side to equal 30. So I need to break the 9 into 7 and 2, like this. Thus, this becomes 23 plus 7 plus 2. 23 plus 7 equals 30. Then you add the leftover 2 to arrive at a total sum of 32. The make a 10 method can also be applied to subtraction. So here, I want to break up the 5 into 2 numbers so that the left side becomes 10. I break up the 5 into 3 and 2. So this becomes 13 minus 3 minus 2. 13 minus 3 equals 10. I then subtract the leftover 2 to arrive at 8. 13 minus 5 equals 8. Let's try that again with bigger numbers. Now the closest multiples of 10 below 66 are 60 and 50. So I want the left side to either become 60 or 50. I break up the 19 into 16 and 3. This becomes 66 minus 16 minus 3. 66 minus 16 equals 50. 50 minus 3 equals 47. So 66 minus 19 equals 47. The make a 10 strategy is just one of several similar methods to simplify math operations. When doing math in your head, it is very common to break one or both of the numbers into smaller parts. Thanks for watching! Remember to multiply your fun and divide your worries. You can count on Parker Math more, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.